Now we like to start to talk to them about combining some of our keyers together. Kind of already done that in one of our MEs when we built a two box. So let's go over to that ME. You can see our two box coming in. What I'd like to also do is talk about chroma keying and laying the chroma key over the top of this set of keyers. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lose these three keys that I have in now and start with another keyer, key six, where I have a chroma key. If I go now into my ME3 key six menu and I choose my type as chroma, I can go to chroma adjust and choose a sample mark. I like to make the sample mark as big as I can and put it over any gradation that I might have in lighting background and different textures. As you can see we have right here. I'm going to auto start that. Another unique Sony feature to the XVS is called color cancel. Color cancel takes the color that I just chroma keyed and cancels out of all the edges. So you lose those halos around people's uh, heads and hair. So I'm going to turn on color cancel and we have a young lady who is wearing a green scarf. So next step would be to take a look at what we call show key. And now in my preview monitor, I can see the key signal generated by the chroma keyer. And I can go to my clip gain and density and I can solidify that chroma key key signal that's been created. like that. And now I have a pretty good chroma key. If I now underlay the other three keys to create, include my two box, I can now, again, what we want to do is in that same keyer uh, that I chroma keyed in, I have the resizer still available to me. So I can come over there, turn on my resizer and size her down into the basketball game where she can be a live reporter. So what we're doing is we're combining four keys on one ME we're using the resizer and all the keys, including the keyer with the resizer.